Booyah. Hi, it's Friday. Welcome to Odyssey of Ascension. This is Roxanne Swainhart, and once again, I'll be channeling for you today from all that is, if you will. It's already pouring in. It's good. Whew. And good morning once again to the collective. This is Osiphius from the Oversoul Collective Fire. I bid you all a good morning, a good day. Good morning. Good morning. Booyah. Let's give you an idea of what you are. You are the unknown reality. You are that of unconditional, let's say, hmm, the best equatable formula for this, for immediate comprehension is at hand, and that would be unconditional entity of all that is. Hmm. Choosing conditioned. You know full well you are a conditioned part of all that is. However, the awareness now in play that you are aware of your own conditioning only leaves who to understand if you are seeing yourself in condition, state, limited. Hmm? Who is the one being aware? The one that is the unknown reality of yourself. That's your journey home. And let's put it this way. Is there truly a full knowing of who you truly are? How far will you take yourself? You have forever. You are infinite. You are all-knowing, all-power, exact duplicate of that of your Father, the Creator, God, if you will. You will recreate yourself for eternity. <clears throat> so relax. Understand that you are that of unconditional love, once again, born of, and you have chosen to be a conditioned part of all of that is, all of reality, to understand yourself once again as a mirrored reflection. That mirrored reflection most certainly is not, let's say, victim, cause, or effect. It's purposeful. You are purposely choosing to be a conditioned part of reality so you can understand from that perspective the unconditional part from a new perspective of self. The awareness state being that separated from that separate self of the conditioned person you perceive is awareness of the unconditional self, the unconditional entity that you are. You are sitting in the bosom of your own grace, of your own given right godhood, if you will. You are sitting upon a throne of your own I am, looking upon the thousands and thousands and thousands times 10 to the fourth of one particular now, one little fractal focus, all of those lives, you are viewing yourself in awareness. You are your higher self. Looking at this tiny fractal spark, if you will, this tiny particle of information you call the conditioned I am, that conditioned I am is filled with the belief systems that condition you to the victim or the lower than or the I can't or I am not, I don't deserve. Anything that conditions you is you from that state of consciousness. But there's this over here looking down. And that looking down is the awareness of the unknown you that you know you are. You are aware of being. Even when you are in, let's say, forgetfulness, your awareness of being only tells you you are something else choosing to be that victim, that conditioned, that I am of all that is, however conditioned. Do you see how many facets you are playing out right now? Do you see how many different ideas of, let's say, creation you are playing right now? 
from all different kinds of perspectives, but it's all one fundamental term, being. You are being whatever you desire. And you have chosen this conditioned self to understand that perspective of self from an unequatable first time. First time in this person personality complex, listen now, of awareness of yourself. In your other lifetimes, you fill purposes. But the depth of awareness of self from a part of the conditioned self is at play more rich, more vibrant than any other time. And in that, frustration comes in. Why? Because you know that you're not that. And you want to end it. You want to freedom from the chaos. You want freedom from the illusion, the illusion, enslavement of that of humanity, social conscious collective. But I'm here to say, entities of ascension, you have chosen this journey not in going home, let's say, as soon as you realize it, that you are awake, that you are all that is. You've chosen to shed that light, to offer the healing once again. We want to put this fundamentally in place where it's a built-in part of the algorithm so it needs not focus in any more times, in your nows, in what you call your future. Why? Because we are on the cusp of a shift that is, let's say, vibrationally unequatable to what you understand is the past. Your 2014 is ending with a bang. Mm -hmm. 2015 is going to be, let's say, vibrationally shifting in a constant manner where it almost seems you can't catch up. You can't catch up with yourself because it's happening so quickly. So we want to keep reiterating that you are the observer of the condition you, you chose. The one that is breaking down the barriers of the illusion. The one that is coming here to ascend the humanity species. The human species, rather. Once again, you're already ascended. Because you are in realization, and as soon as you have awareness that you are not that you, then you have the ability to choose that you as you choose. You are the puppeteer of your own incarnation. You are that. It is only your belief systems, once again, that was fed, that you attached. And you're saying right now, we've heard this, wonderful. Are you acting upon it in effortless joy to know that you are that awareness of self, the unknown reality of self, as well as the conditioned self, claiming as you choose every moment for experience? We want this fundamentally in place once again. The foundation of love, unconditional, only sprouts. Those blossoms of that fragrance of life. Hmm? And with that, let's say, solid foundation in play, as the new energies are flowing in, the byproduct of that, of course, is that tsunami of love within the collective. But your practicum of, let's say, hmm, ah, yes, the practicum of you, let's say, aligning with the energies is no longer needed. You don't need as much as you think anymore. But what you're thinking is that you need to lock something into place so you can move forward. Because locking it into place in satisfaction is logic, is a system, is conditioned. 
flow of the energies will be that consistent and that fleeting at the same time that you will feel uneasy, disheveled, upset. Because we don't want you to be set. Because set is stagnant, limiting, and repetitious. Continue and don't look for the anchors anymore for stability. You are the fleeting moment of endless experience and expansion of self. And when you let go of stabilization, footholds, anchors, grounding is built in. So don't throw that out there because it's only your perception that you need to be grounding that delays your own isness. Because you are the entire thing. What do you need to ground if you are it? Think about that. No longer need to be anchored in the moment of clarity. Because clarity is built in with the vibration. The light encoded matrix. Each light encoded moment has the epiphanies, the knowledge, the expansion, the thought block of information of that entire moment. And here's where you allow yourself to expand with no logic of understanding and comprehension. For that comes with clarity and perfect timing, natural timing. Take this at heart. We don't want you in that fashion to, let's say, not know what's coming and not have the practicum <coughs> of that, which this is. So look at this once again as an offering from yourselves, the collective of humanity, to know that the next timeline shift occurring starting next month, December-ish, will accelerate through the entire 2015 years with lots of happenings, lots of polarities, lots of understandings, lots of expansion. But don't slow yourself down in that fashion to understand each part of the moment for that is built in and that is your trust in yourself to know that you have the information and it will be only applicable in the moment of perfection. In other words, you don't need it until you need it in that idea and then it will be brought to fruition. Much like there's no need to memorize anything and you never forget anything, it's never needed if you think you forgot it. In that moment, it comes up. So when a new energy comes in and you say, awesome, and then you go about it, but there's no, let's say, definable comprehension of all the meaning of it, just like, say, flakes of it, know that in the future, when that next part of that download, so to speak, comes into play, then you will have the information already built in, and that's when it will be triggered and allow you to understand the comprehension of that moment into its fullness taking that into wisdom and to keep going from there. You are in your higher self, experience billions of seconds at one time, billions of lifetimes in one nap. We're getting you used to what you already are. We're pushing you forward in that idea, offering a new perspective of yourself that you are multifaceted, of course, but you're also, let's say, light speed. And you can handle it all because it's all you. Mia to. Time reader. 15 minutes. We should take a break. This is Osiphius from the Oversoul Collective Fire. I bid you a good moment. I don't need. Hiya. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was that awesome blossom? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I'm all giddy. I love it. <laughs> I'm clapping my feet. I don't have shoes on. <laughs> we can't see that on camera. Whatever. <laughs> Just know I'm doing it because it's fun. <laughs> don't be goofy. All right, guys. I love you. And we're going to have some cupcakes. So we'll be back. <laughs>